Hi students, today we are doing some previously asked questions in the chapter Applications of Derivatives. Here, <coughs> the question which was asked in 2016 March, the first question is the slope of the tangent to the curve given by x is equal to minus cos theta, y is equal to theta minus sin theta, theta is equal to pi by 2. So first we have to find the derivative of this function. So dy by dx to find dy by dx here x is equal to 1 minus cos theta. So dx by d theta is a parametric function 0 minus minus sin theta. So it is sin theta. Now y is equal to theta minus sin theta. Therefore, dy by d theta is equal to the derivative of theta is 1, sin theta is cos theta. Therefore, we can find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. dy by d theta is here dy by d theta is 1 minus cos theta divided by dx by d theta is sin theta. Therefore, slope is equal to dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by 2. So, here 1 minus cos pi by 2 divided by sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0, sin pi by 2 is 1. Therefore, the answer is 1. This is the answer. Present. Next question is find the intervals in which the function f of x is equal to x square minus x square minus 4x plus 6 is strictly decreasing. Here, First of all, we find the derivative of this function. The derivative of x squared is 2x minus 4 into 1 plus 0. That is 2x sub minus 4, isn't it? For turning points, turning points is a point in which dy by dx is equal to turning point f dash x is equal to 0. Therefore, we have 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4 by 2, that is 2. Here the function is a real function. So, we have in between minus infinity and plus infinity, there is another point, that is 2. So, we have two intervals. Therefore, the intervals may be the intervals may be 1 is minus infinity to 2 and the other is 2 to infinity. These are the intervals. Now, we have to find in which interval the function is decreasing. Let us Check flash x element of minus infinity to 2. Say x is equal to in between 2 and minus infinity. Let me take a value to 1, 0, minus 1, etc. Let me take 0. Now put x is equal to 0 in f dash x. Therefore, f dash of 0 is equal to 2 into 0 minus 4, that is minus 4, which is less than 0. Therefore, the function is decreasing. Here, we want to find the intervals in which the function is decreasing. Therefore, the 4 x is decreasing in minus infinity to 2, isn't it? If 
the question is find the integral semester function is strictly decreasing and increasing then we have to check for the interval also here uh, we have the decreasing interval okay here the next question is find the maximum and minimum value of the function the flash x is 2 into 2x minus 1 function of a function form x square the derivative of x square is 2x and uh, find the derivative of the inside function that is 2 into 1 plus minus 0 2 into 1 2 into 1 minus 0 plus the derivative of 3 is 0 constant so here 2 into 2 4 into 2x minus 1 now find the second derivative at 2 dash x. 4 into 2 into 1 minus 0. So we get 8 which is greater than 0. If the second derivative is greater than 0 or positive, then therefore the function is minimum. The second derivative is greater than 0, that is positive, the function is minimum. And for minimum value for minimum value of x to find the minimum value of x for f dash x we have to find the turning value f dash x is equal to 0. So f dash x is equal to 4 into 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. 4 is not equal to 0, so 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x r is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 by 2, isn't it? The value of x is equal to 1 by 2. Now put, now find the minimum value of 4. Minimum value of f of x is equal to f of 1 by 2. How can I find the minimum value of the function? Put x is equal to 1 by 2 in the given function, isn't it? Therefore, 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 the whole square plus 3 so 1 minus 1 the whole square plus 3 therefore the minimum value of the function is 3 in this function there is no maximum value because of x has already f2 dash x is greater than 0 therefore the function is minimum so there is no maximum value isn't it there is no question in 2016 March, the first question is which of the following functions has neither local maxima nor local minima? The answer is log x because the dash x is 1 by x is for turning points. f dash x is equal to 0 which implies that 1 by x is equal to 0 which is impossible here 1 by x is equal to 0 is impossible isn't it second question is find the equation of the tangent to the curve is equal to x squared x at 1 1 v is equal to 3x square here we find dy by dx that is 3 into 2x which is equal to 6x now slope of a tangent is slope of the tangent that we take slope of the tangent dm is equal to dy by dx at x1 point on here the point is 1 1 that is dy by dx is 6 into x is 1. So 6. Therefore, equation of the tangent is equation of the tangent. Formula is y minus y1 is equal to slope of the tangent vector x1 that is m into x minus x1. Isn't it? Now y minus 
y1 is 1, slope is x into x minus, x1 is also 1. So y minus 1 is equal to 6x minus x. Therefore, we can say that 6x minus x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Or slope of equation of the tangent is 6x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the tangent to the curve. y is equal to 3x square at 1 1, isn't it? I have posted a video on the differentials and approximations. Here, let y is equal to rho x. Then we take the function b rho x. Root of, therefore, root of x plus delta x is equal to y plus delta y. If you buy hard this formula, then you will get a little easier. Okay. Here, x is equal to 36, delta x is equal to 0 0.6, and uh, y is equal to, y is equal to root x is equal to root of 36 is equal to 6. These things we will put. So, root of x is 36 plus y is 6 is equal to y is 6 plus delta y. So, 36.6 root of that is equal to 6 plus delta y. This is equation number 2, isn't it? We should by heart this formula. Now, differentiating 1 with respect to x. Differentiating 1 with respect to x. Divide by dx of is equal to 1 by 2 root x. So, dy is equal to 1 by 2 root x into dx. dy is approximately equal to delta y and 1 by 2 root of 2 into root x is 6 into dx is equal to delta x, this is delta x. So, 1 by 12 into delta x is 0 0.6, that is 0 0.6 divided by 12, 0 0.05. Therefore, substituting in 2 we have into root of 36.6 is equal to 6 plus 0 0.05 that is 6.05 approximately. This is the approximate value of 36.6, isn't it? In 2015 March, the first question is which of the following function is always increasing? Here, the answer is 2x minus sine 2x. That is an increasing function for all values of x. Then next question is find the radius, the radius of a cylinder is increasing at the rate of 1 cm per second and height increasing at the rate of 1 cm per second. The same rate. Find the rate at which the volume of the cylinder is increasing or decreasing volume of the cylinder when the radius is 5 cm and height is 5 cm. Now let r comma x be the radius and and the height of the cylinder at time t seconds, is it? Now the r by dt is one. 1 centimeter per second and uh, dh by dt is equal to which is decreasing so minus 1 centimeter per second. Now volume we have to find the rate of change of volume. Volume is equal to what is the volume of the cylinder by r square h. Now differentiating 
with respect to time, with respect to t, dv by dt is equal to pi into pi is a constant. R square into derivative of h is dh by dt plus h into 2r into dr by dt. Derivative of r square is 2r into derivative of r with respect to t is dr by dt. Now, applying the values here, pi into r is uh, pi square into dh by dt is minus 1 plus h is 5 into 2 into 5 into dr by dt is 1. So, minus 25, 5 into minus 25 or plus 15. 5 into 5, 25 into 2 is 50. So, 25 or pi, that much centimeter cube per second. This is the change in polynomial. Isn't it? Now we have one more question. Find the equation of the tangent of at 1 point of the curve 2x square plus 3y square is equal to 5. This is an implicit function, so differentiating with respect to x, derivative of 2 into 2x plus 3 into 2y into dy by dx is equal to derivative of 5 is 0. So, 6y into dy by dx is equal to minus 4x. From this we can find dy by dx is equal to minus 4x by 6x and minus 2x by 3x. Not 6x, 6y. Isn't it? Now we can find slope of the tangent. Therefore, slope of the tangent is slope of the tangent of which we say m, which is equal to the formula is dy by dx at uh, x1 y1. Here x1 is 1, y1 is also 1. So minus 2 into 1 by 3 into 1. So it is minus 2 by 3. Now we are going to find the equation of the tangent. Therefore, equation of the tangent is tangent is the formula is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the formula to find the equation of the tangent. So y is y minus y1 is 1, m is minus 2 by 3 in the x minus x1 is 1. Now cross multiplying here multiplying by 3 3y three minus 3 is equal to minus 2x minus and minus plus 2. So 3y minus 3 plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the tangent to the curve 2x square plus 3y square is equal to 5 at 1 1, isn't it? Now I think you could understand all the problems I have done here, isn't it? Bye.